The Meat of SIM Card Cloning This video is just for educational purpose only. Hello friends, nice meeting you again in our new topic SIM Card Cloning. The first SIM card was developed in 1991 by Munich smart card maker Gisek Divrient, who sold the first 300 SIM cards to the Finnish wireless network operator Radio Ninja. Today SIM cards are present everywhere, allowing over 7 billion devices to connect to cellular networks around the world. By the way friends, what is a SIM card? A SIM card is an integrated circuit intended to securely store the international model subscriber identity number and its related key, which are used to identify and authenticate subscribers on mobile telephony devices. How telecommunication company know you to account the billings? The SIM card contains an identifier, the international mobile subscriber identifier ASMS, that identifies your handset, what I mean is your phone to the network. So telecommunication company knows who is using their service. A SIM card contains a computer chip that can do some computation and store some informations. Without SIM card, your mobile phone cannot connect to your mobile towers. We can say SIM card is our mobile phone passport. On this, it enables to connect to the telecommunication towers. As our main topic, the meat of SIM card cloning. SIM card cloning exists for years. It may be an old style of hacking, but only few hackers are capable to do this. It's because of difficulties to get the right device and application also the right process. Let's have a look on the past years. Well, do you remember how hackers targeted Hollywood and exposed our private photos from their cloud accounts? Hackers exploited a weakness with cell phones. Now they're using dogs to hack their steel. I get interested on this SIM card cloning attacks. It's a rare kind of attack not everyone is capable of doing this. Wondering if this is real, I search on internet to get some information on what is really happening. There were so many informations about this others are video tutorial. But all of them lacks evidence to prove the myth of SIM card hacking. I found some tools SIM writer and applications with videos and tutorial, but still don't get a reliable source. On where to find about the SIM cloning attack that really works. Then I found a very informative information and now would like to try if this works. The SIM writer is available on online stores and the process with application was posted in hacking groups. I ordered the SIM writer and downloaded the application. For 8 days the product arrived. Time has come to see if this really works. We need one working SIM card to copy as our source going to our new blank SIM card.
Inserting the working SIM card to a phone to test if this works. Our SIM is connected to phone. Let's check if it gets connection. So good this is a working sim. We will pull out the sim and insert it to our sim writer device. Now, that it is already inserted to our device, we need to check if our application reads the device in the SIM. Here we can see that it works and we can see some informations. I get some key eye brute forcing tool. It calculates the key eye of the sim. We are not sure if this key eye works. Later I will explain this key eye on what's the use of it in terms of security. Given we have the informations, now is the time to copy this informations to our blank sim. Now it is inserted, going back to our application. On our first original sim, we click read card. Now we will do write card. The information has been already copied to our blank sim. We need to check it. If the sim write was a success, pull then insert again the blank sim. What I mean is reinsert the sim. Now we can see informations on our blank sim. But this is not the end. It's just a sign of sim write success. We need to insert the blank sim to our phone and check it if it connects and has a signal. We cannot see connection to telecommunication tower, let's give 3 minutes more. Now we see that it does not get a signal or connect to telecommunication tower. We will reinsert the sim again to verify and hope this time it connects.
We get the same scenario. No connection to Telco Tower. The big question is, what was the reason why it still don't work? Now we will discuss on how a SIM card authenticate, and this is maybe the reason that we failed to clone a SIM card. I read books of SIM card security and its downside. Mostly these books are under mobile forensic. The most common questions on mobile is how many computers inside a mobile phone. Common answer is one, and that's just the mobile phone, but the real answer is two. Yes, you hear it right. First is the mobile phone, second is the SIM card. SIM cards contain a very small computer chip that can do some computation and store some information. It calculates the security authentication inside of it if you're planning to sniff information that is passing on the SIM and the phone going to mobile tower it is very hard. You need another device to do this, like SIM trace to intercept the communication between the phone and SIM card. This authentication key or TIA was the reason why it is hard to get a working clone SIM card. It's because the algorithm calculation process was done inside the SIM and not by passing it from phone to telecommunication. I am referring here on the first phase of authentication. The SIM card calculation should be paired to the telecommunication authentication before it can connect to the tower. What is authentication key or key? The key is a 128-bit value used in authenticating the SIM on a GSM mobile network. For you SIM network, the key is still needed but other parameters are also needed. Each SIM holds a unique key assigned to it by the operator during the personalization process. The key is also stored in a database authentication center or IUC on the carrier's network. If it happens that you damage your SIM card, and you need a new one with the same number. You can visit your provider's office and request a new one. Your provider will issue you a new SIM card with your old the same number. This is the same concept card cloning that your provider is doing, but in a legal and upright manner. Your telecommunication company has all the tools and capability to create a new SIM card is possible, this time in a legal way. Thank you for watching please subscribe on this channel, your support will give me the motivation to create more educational videos. As always thank you for watching Dream Media.